Hi, I'm Dr. Jack Kevorkian. A lot of you know me simply as Dr. Death. As you know, I recently agreed to stop assisting patient suicides. But now my years of experience can be yours in my new book, Dr. Kevorkian's Book of Home Remedies. You know, doctors have long known how to cure common ailments with simple items found around the house. Foot pain got you down, son? Then just soak that foot in a bathtub full of hot salt water with a cup of vinegar and a tablespoon of castor oil. Then just add a string of Christmas lights. <laughs> Sure, it's messy, but you won't hear him complaining. Doctor, I'm so depressed. I've got a splinter in my finger. Well then, try to find a good vein. Then, just use an ordinary hypodermic needle with common household air. Inject a small bubble of air directly into the artery. Uh, are you sure about this? <laughs> Positive. Works every time. Dr. Kevorkian's Book of Home Remedies is full of thousands of these handy cures for such ailments as burns, scrapes, scabies, even headaches. Just listen to one of my recent patients. I suffer from terrible migraines. Regular doctors couldn't do anything for me. But then Dr. Kevorkian's book suggested many household items to alleviate my pain. First of all... <laughs> I found this 12-gauge just lying around the bedroom closet. That's probably the first good rest she's had in days. <laughs> and you'll rest in peace, too, when you order Dr. Kevorkian's Book of Home Remedies. To order, call 1-600-DOCTOR-DEATH. Please have your credit card ready. We will not bill you later. Call now. today still fail to realize the immense contributions made by African Americans to popular culture and the unique forms of entertainment they invented. On this day, July 15, 1900, Crispus Lawrence was hosting the annual Harlem Society Ball. Hello, Crispus. What's up? <laughs> Hello, Crispus. Would you please help me finish hanging the banner? Oh, good. Hey, thanks for my lady. Thank you. <laughs> You look very nice. Thank you. So, uh, how the party, you know, how's oh, it going? You very know? nice gathering, Christmas. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Oh, Gina. Oh, <laughs>
part. Ah! At that moment, Christmas invented the first deaf comedy jam, and his companion became the Apollo Lady. What's so tough? Hey, girl, damn. Your hair is so fake, it look like a, a skunk just crawled up on your head and went to sleep. Oh. Damn, that's just a fist there. I bet it's some naked horses outside, so they get up there and they said, oh. 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 oh, look at this. Oh, he's so dumb, he got a ticket to the underground. And the first deaf comedy jam was born. I'm David Allen Greer, and this has been another great moment in black history. In the darkness of night, while America sleeps, they're out there, roaming the streets, risking their lives, doing their job. They're thugs. All thugs are considered guilty until let off on a technicality. Now this is a tough neighborhood. They got neighborhood watch all up in here. Neighbors looking out for each other. It's bad, man. Yeah, that's right, it's bad. Most people, most guys in our profession, they would turn back and now this, this would be a discouragement to them, but not us. Why? Because we're trained criminal professionals, professional criminals. We don't get scared off by signals that would scare off other people. We're here for danger, part of our business. You understand what I'm saying? It's part of our business. Danger. Hey, man, we're thugs. Now check this out. Yeah, what? The newspapers. Yeah, I see newspapers, so what? Big deal. There's three of them. Yeah, one, two, three, what are they, slow readers? Big deal. <laughs> no, they're not slow readers, stupid. They're not home, that's what they is. Oh, paper, three papers. <laughs> yes, <you can. laughs> See, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. He sees three papers, he goes, boom. He makes an analysis, he makes a connection. He makes a criminal, his criminal mind goes to work on that. That's beautiful, that's what I love about this guy, huh? Is that a face? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Do that no more. He's a little nervous, he just got out of the joint. Hey, write that papers thing down, because that is a good tip for, you know, for the future. Wait, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Look at it. Look at that sign, see that? That's a very expensive security system. It's impregnable, okay? You can't get past that. I'm not robbing no house where they just spent 10,000 bucks on a security system. So come on. Hey, shit, get out. They didn't spend no $10,000 no security system. They spent $10 on the security system sign. The sign? No, you get the sign with the system. See, they give you a sign and the system. If they had bought the system, they'd have got the sign. They got the sign to scare us off, man. Scare tactic. Oh, they, they just got a sign. They didn't even get no system. No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, a bunny rabbit, see that? Hey, what's up, Doc? <laughs> huh? Look at that. This is why we do what we do. This is the kind of hall that makes everything worthwhile. You get chased by dogs, you get chased by cops, but when you find something like this, you feel like you know why you started this business. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at this watch. Tell time, tell time in 24 time zones. Hey, Al, you know what time it is in Nairobi? Man, would you shut up and stop saying my name? Did I say Jackson? Did I say Al Jackson? Hey, who's out there? What the hell is going on out there? I know you're out here. I got a gun. See, that makes me sick. That's what's wrong with our society. Too many guns in the hands of too many people who have no business having it. The only way we can meet this kind of violence is with a violent act of our own. Right, Al? That's right. Let's do it. Get him on three. Okay. One. All right, I surrender. You got me. I got it. Hey, man, what are you doing? I'm not taking a bullet for a watch, okay? Yeah, what bullet? He doesn't even have a gun. He's got a banana. All right, well, I trust him. He's a homeowner. What can, what can I tell you? Would you come on? You know, can I have a couple of these canes? I just... Will you get out of here? <laughs> Objection. All right, all right. Freeze, freeze. Yeah, I can see him. On the floor, on the floor. what it's all about. Catching a couple of thugs trying to make up with someone's belongings. I can't believe professional criminals are just busted by the cops. And not just any cops, the show cops. <laughs> we thought you guys was canceled. Must have been Chevy Chase. <laughs> hey, 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 watch the leather, huh? huh? Hey, watch the leather. Yeah, yeah. All right, I know my rights. Man, the great thing about this job is we'll be out in no time. Just in time for the next exciting episode of Thugs! <laughs> Due to the graphic and violent nature of the preceding program, maybe you shouldn't have watched it.
หอยไอ Is this line for heterosexuals only? Uh, no. Good, because I'm gay. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, yeah, no. Is this line all gay? No, it isn't. What a shame. If we were both gay, we could be going at it right here. Uh, miss, can I get my food, please? Can I get my food? Two consenting adults yep. with their groins on fire. Nothing wrong with that. No, sorry. What can I do for you, sir? Well, sexually, nothing. You see, you're a woman, and I, being gay, am attracted only to men. Are you going to order something? Oh. I get it. The fruit cake is holding up the line. No, it's not that, sir. I just have to get my. No biggie. You're just frightened of something you don't understand. Now let's see. I think the combo meal would satisfy a homosexual's taste buds, and I am a homosexual, so I'll have that. Attention, please. Attention. I am gay. Repeat. I am very gay. Just go about your business normally, as heterosexual. Okay, sir. That'll be five dollars sixty-seven cents, please. Wow. It's a good thing gay men work. <laughs> Thank you, on behalf of all homosexuals. <laughs> Do you mind if I sit here? I'm gay, you know. Yeah, sure, whatever, man. You're probably wondering what it's like to be gay. Nah. Well, I'll tell you. It's not so bad. The hours are good. <laughs> That's a gay man's joke. But seriously, it's fan double tastic being gay. Would you like to hear me sing? I have children. You know why? Oh, let me guess. You're gay. That's right. I'm as gay as gay can be. I'm a limp wristed fruitcake. I'm a stubble rubber. Look at me. I'm living. Let's do the homosexual blindfold test. Hey! <laughs> I prefer this one. Hey, pal. Oh! <laughs> That was the vibrating palm. There's a gay man down near table two. A gay man down near table two. <laughs> hey. Wait a second. That's odd. My manhood is completely engorged. <laughs> Perhaps I should rethink this whole homosexual thing. By the way, what's your name? Bert. And I'm really a man. <laughs> no wonder. You see, I'm gay, and gay men have terrific intuition. Hey, let's go have a drink. I know a bar called the Pile Driver. You might be interested. <laughs> Shall we go? Excuse me, everyone. Gay people coming through. Well, I wake up every morning with the pressures of the world on my mind. Taking a crazy way to manifest a fat rhyme, rise and shine. I rush to the vertical show, cause she got the great cure for the morning bone. But bump on these, everything is fine and dandy. What's the plan? I got to keep the mic handy, cause uh, shit is getting critical. The knuckleheads be coming up with that action and I must get physical. I check the time, put on my clothes and grab my pager. Don't carry a gun, no, but I'm constantly in danger. They want to assassinate the mind of great four headed bastard. Checking the mic and taking the sun, it's not like she's a plaster. Anyway.
the Hollywood School of Self-Defense. Now stand to greet your sensei, Sweet Tooth Joe. Right on. of a Jimmy Dynamite, Kid Dynamite Walker. <laughs> but by the time I'm finished with y'all, y'all gonna be as bad as Jim Brown in Three the Hard Way. That's right, Three the Hard Way with Jim Kelly, Fred Williamson. Excuse me, uh, uh, excuse me. Are you qualified to teach me self-defense because I'm pretty tired of, uh, you know, being pushed around? Hold up, Big Slim. Give the brother a chance to drop science. Right on. It's all right, Queen Bee. Step off, Big Red. The ass whipping stop here. Now, groove on my ancient techniques. The game is tough. The stakes are your life. Check it out. Step to me, baby. See what I'm saying? Keep your eye on the sparrow. How you like that? Well, uh, it was nice, but you didn't really touch her. I didn't have to. I'm that bad. <laughs> now, scenario numero uno. Let's go. Come on. Now, let's just suppose you're relaxing in the crib. All right, you in the hot tub. You in there with your foxy lady. That's right, you sipping on some Boone's Farm apple wine. <laughs> you chilling, you listen to Isaac Hayes on the high five. Oh, shucks. Hot butter soul. <laughs> Say what? All of a sudden, the fuzz show up. Uh, excuse me, what exactly is the fuzz? Man, I'm fushing. <laughs> you need to dig yourself, man. Pigs, Charlie the police. Oh, oh. It's all right, Queen Bee. It's all right. You go to unleash a flurry of martial arts techniques. Assume the position, Queen Bee. Arts moves here. Hey, dig yourself, honky. Yeah, honky. Hold on, we don't know that yet. She might just be a debarge. What you need to do is not get up tight. I am a fight choreographer. All right? That don't mean I can't really throw down. You know what? I'm gonna go buy some pepper spray. Hey, you ain't going nowhere, sister. Hey, oh, 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 hey, hey.
was walking on the railroad. I set my booty on the track. I saw the skin with the gap sack. So I snatched my booty back. I said, look at here, partner. You know you can't leave me. I'll be the one that ain't too now. And you know it's true. Now move on, I got the fellas. Jealous cause I flows like none. I got the whole nine neat nut back a gun. No need for greed, see your text in my face to the young. Sprung on the air that I breathe. You can't conceive how I braids in my weeds. Here you over there, you may appear some fear for the smear. We're gonna have in the buttons. A ride, see, a ride, see, a ride. Did you know? Now, everybody, I'm in my phone. Now, 